Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, this is Lesson 1, Part 2 of the SolidWorks series, uh, Toolbars. Resizing windows uh, allows you to customize the appearance of your screen. Uh, view multiple files at the same time. Uh, there's several uh, cursor changes that you'll you'll see. You come to the left or right edge, the cursor changes to this. The top or the bottom changes to this if you get under the corner. So you can change your size of your window. And that just gives you an indication that you have the ability to, to do that. Now there's also a couple of other changes down here if you're inside a panel so that you can change also the size of panels. Using the SolidWorks interface, uh, SolidWorks window display uh, graphics, which is this portion here, and non graphic model data, which is over here. Toolbars display frequently used commands. On the left side of SolidWorks Windows has a feature uh, manager design tree. Uh, also, we have the property manager for some of those features, and then a configuration manager that shows you how your object is being configured or the model is being configured. Right side of SolidWorks Windows, we have what's called a task plane. In here, you'll find SolidWorks Resources, the design library. Also, Toolbox and File Explorer. Uh, buttons for frequently used commands. This is the the uh, menus, uh, commands, or toolbars that are at the top of the screen. You can select the toolbar to display. Toolbars are displayed at the top and sides of windows. You can also access toolbars from your command manager. Getting help. Uh, to view comprehensive online help, there's this little question mark or help at the top of the screen. You can select help, uh, SolidWorks help topics, uh, very comprehensive. Uh, help displays in a separate window. Review. Uh, Windows. Uh, Windows, again, is uh, the operating system that SolidWorks resides on top of. Uh, we can use Windows to manipulate files, uh, change the size of SolidWorks windows, and also the size of the panels. Toolbars, lots of toolbars in SolidWorks, both on the top of the screen and on the sides. Activities, I want you to finish uh, the workbook, Lesson 1, and also you'll find a quiz on exam view that I want you to answer all the questions. That's it uh, for Lesson 1, Part 2. It completes Lesson 1. Thank you for your time.